We're the Bucket List family. Garrett, Jessica, Dorothy, Manila, and Callahan. A few years ago, we sold everything to travel the world. And now we're setting out on our biggest adventure yet. Home. While we're out gathering inspiration in amazing countries each week, our at-home experts, Andy and Candace, Hi. will remodel our new home. Not our house yet. In real time. Room by room. We'll need your help too. You decide what we experience in each country. Wow. We're asking you to help us plot our course live. This is your invitation to join us on this journey in Traveling, traveling Home. home. <laughs> I feel like you're off key. You're not <laughs> singing it. Hi Candace, this is Garrett and Jessica coming at you. The test, US. test one. Test one, we are standing and smiling. Smiley Wiley. Do you want to try doing it? Hi guys, we're Andy and Candace Meredith and we are in Hawaii at Garrett and Jessica's beautiful new house. We're so excited to be working on this project with them. They're gonna be traveling the world while we're here and they'll be sending us back inspiration to put into each one of these rooms. When Garrett and Jess first told us about the house that they had found, they said, I think it was built like in the middle of the century or something, then we got here and it's like, oh no. This is a 1920s, maybe 1930s bungalow, which is totally up our alley and everything we love about old houses. The first room that we're gonna take on in this house is the kitchen, which is probably the hardest room. I always start with the hardest room <laughs> in the house. I don't know what my problem is. It's like when the kitchen is finished, I feel like, okay, the rest of the house is gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be all right. Everything is gonna be all right. We met with Garrett here at the house back in February, and Jess was obviously in no state to travel <laughs> at that time, but he gave us a little tour of the house. Okay, I'm gonna show you the kitchen. This is the kitchen now. So we're going to make it ours, make it special, but we wanna keep the old specialness. We wanna keep the integrity of this house. The kitchen has seen a lot of remodels. There are some original details left in there that we're trying to keep and preserve as much as we can, but I will say this. Jess has specifically asked for a big open window and that's what we're gonna give her. So no matter what, that's happening, Jess. Well, I can't blame her with the view like we have behind us. Uh, yeah. I don't know why you'd wanna block that. I mean, it's okay. I like, would do dishes all day just to look out the window. If you're into like ocean views and sea turtles, like sure. All right. Eh. We have these beautiful original cabinets and we're going to demo them very, very carefully. Well, so, demo stands for demolition. So we're, we're going, going to, to remo. Unassemble. remo. Remove. We're going to remo them very carefully. Remo day. <laughs> Hashtag remo day. These are going to live in another beautiful 1920s beach cottage, but we're making way for the window and that's okay with me. Now the demo is done, it's time to start getting everything into production. We have brand new cabinets being done, we made sure that the walls aren't going to fall over <laughs> and we've got plaster going in. Yeah, real plaster, which is really exciting because we don't get to do that a lot. Yeah, because it's super expensive, yes, but just for you guys because but your house deserves nice. the best. <laughs> and we've just got everybody kind of rolling and working hard. We also have someone coming over to start installing the Vivint Smart Home system. Garrett and Jessica were super specific about having smart home features installed in their house so that they can have peace of mind while they're traveling. So we reached out to Vivint Smart Home with the idea for the show. They were so excited about it, they decided to come on as a partner and make this show happen. So we all have Vivid Smart Home to thank for making this happen, and I can't wait to show you all their cool products throughout the season. We're super pumped to have the Vivid Smart Home technician here. He is installing everything in the house so it all gets automated and protected. They have flood sensors and smoke detectors. Yeah. They'll know if a piece of glass breaks in the windows. So. I'm just excited for the G's, like while they're traveling 3,000 miles away, they can turn on their porch lights, check on their cameras, and make sure that everything is good back home. We need to know what we're working with as far as inspiration goes. So while Garrett and Jessica are in Brazil, we've asked them to send back kitchen inspiration so we can incorporate that into the house right now. So we're in Iguazu Falls, Brazil, and it's really just stunning here. This has to be the most breathtaking, it natural is. beauty. I mean, it's one of those places, the first time you see it, you're just like, oh my goodness, like this is incredible. Well, there's that audible like, whoa! <laughs> this time exploring this country has been a little bit different. Usually we're exploring with like adventure and culture and service, but this time our purpose is like, we have a house. 
and we're trying to find inspiration for our house. So here in Brazil, we have a few different stops. We have Rio, we have Iguazu Falls, and we have Sao Paulo. Each of these places, we're looking for inspiration for our kitchen. So we went and stopped at a farmer's market, which right. farmer's markets around the world are some of the coolest. And this one was probably one of the brightest, funnest ones we've ever seen. The flowers, the fruit, the vegetables, Well, everything. it had the spices and the lentils and the fruit and everything was just colorful and we loved it. So our inspiration for the kitchen is just the bright colors of Brazil. They go for it. And so I feel like if there's a decision in our kitchen, whether to play it safe or to go for it, we gotta be like the Brazilian people. <laughs> we gotta go for it. So Andy and Candace make our kitchen bright and fun and fresh so that we can have lots of healthy meals and lots of yummy, yummy food. If there's acai bowls there, that's all right. If there's just a tap of acai. Yeah. All right, so bold, bright, fresh colors, we can do that. Yep. Acai bowls on tap, I don't think that's a real thing yet. I would like to say yes. Let's work to on that. the technology we first. Will work, <laughs> we will work on that. Okay, I want to do the right color by Garrett. He wants green cabinets. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, cool. I love green cabinets. I sent him a couple colors, and he's like, no, 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 no. Like, like green. Not muted green, not warm green, not pea green. green. Like green, green, like smack you in the face green. Like, like super green. Like Brazil green, like go look at the flag. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna go for it. <laughs> the Brazilian way. All right. Okay, this is my favorite part. Now it's time to put everything on a mood board and really see how the room is gonna come together. I'm shopping on Wayfair. They actually have this amazing feature where you can make mood boards right within their website. So I've got a mood board set up here for our Brazil kitchen. I'm starting with this green, um, and now I'm just gonna start adding products in. So I've always wanted to do a Smeg fridge. It's a super big risk because it has to get here on a boat. Let's see if it makes it here on time. It's worth the risk to me. I found these amazing gold brackets. They're super heavy duty, and I think they're gonna look great in the kitchen. And then I've got an amazing farmhouse sink, brass faucets, What's great about shopping on Wayfair is you can find things that you like through their site. You just put a little heart on them, it saves them into the room that you want it saved. And then I can go through here and say, okay, this little sconce is gonna look amazing. You can kind of see how it looks with the rest of the room. And even though this is a brand new kitchen, we really wanna pay attention to the historic roots of the house. So I'm trying to stay Brazil and fresh and exciting and something that the bucket list family will love. But I'm also trying to do a good job for this house and making sure this kitchen looks like it fits with a house that's 100 years old. So I've got that sconce and I've got a light here that I think will look great. Although I did save another one that has a slightly different shade. So just kind of see which one looks better. And I think I like the one with the frosted glass better. So you just delete it. And now you can really see how this is all going to come together. It's going to be beautiful. And I can't wait to start getting some of these products brought in. What's really fun about this show is that you guys get to choose what adventure we see the Bucket List family go on each week. So we put a poll on Home of Network Social where you got to vote whether the Bucket List family sees Brazil through the air on a gondola or through the sea on a boat ride. Are you I, I'm, We're literally about to like get the count. Okay, 72% said gondola. Wow, going through the air. Okay, well, I mean, that's what I would pick. What would you yeah, pick? Yeah, same thing. Okay, we're about to call Garrett and Jess and tell them that they're gonna see Brazil from above. Hi. Okay, we have results. Oh, sweet, okay, so what are we doing? It's gondola. Oh, that's what we wanted to do. <laughs> That'll be so fun. Manila's gonna love that. Kind of not fair that they're out like exploring <laughs> the world and we're back home stressed out about shipments and things not getting here in time and... I still have a hard time complaining about being here working. Oh, now I'm... There's a lot of stress. There's a lot I'm of stress. Now I'm the bad guy. Now you're ungrateful. <laughs> <laughs> My home's only for the night Waking up in different places You wrap me up, let me inside you're forever my oasis My heart is home with you My heart is home with you
today's awesome. We have the cabinet guys coming and this kitchen's really gonna start to come together now. Dad! Made it! Yay! Thank you how for you coming! Doing? We're about to show you how green green can get. I mean, I'm from a really green country and yeah. that is green. We are so excited about these cabinets. It's green. I basically picked the hardest <laughs> cabinet you can pick and I need it fast. And I'm like, Dan, you can do this. And he's like, yeah, totally, I can totally do it. One episode in, that's how long it took for the Candace's <laughs> British accent to come out. Sorry. But Dan, sorry, accent not sorry. and all, really got on top of things and really got these cabinets built quick. Yeah. And they're gonna look amazing. And they are the hardest, most custom cabinets yeah. we could have chosen, but it's what the house needs and Garrett and Jess are gonna enjoy these things for a long time. They're gonna love it. So they're furniture style cabinets, which means they have legs instead of just toe kicks. They have inset doors instead of like doors that just kind of sit on the top. So everything, every little detail around it has to be perfect. There's an eighth inch reveal around every single cabinet door. I mean, these are, they're made out of mahogany. I know, painted mahogany. Painted mahogany. And the like, details, I mean, they all come together with this reproduction hardware that yeah. we're putting in there. Mm, it's fancy, it. it's beautiful, it's ornate. It looks exactly like the high end of what would have been put into yeah. houses at this time. And, it's gonna really, really set those cabinets off. We have a lot going on in the kitchen today. The <laughs> cabinets are being built, the lights are going in, the floors are yeah. down. It's, it's starting to look like an actual kitchen. Yeah, but we wanna add something kind of special in this kitchen that's not brand new, that speaks back to the history of the house. And the G's live a very, very minimal lifestyle, so they don't need a lot of upper cabinets. So we had this idea to put just one single open shelf and we wanted to make it out of something really special. And when we did all the repairs that needed to be done during demo and early construction, we ended up with a lot of original old lumber from the house and we knew we needed to get a lot of it back into the house. Yeah, so we took these beautiful pieces of old lumber. I mean, you can see the growth rings of 100 years old plus. We decided to take those, get all the nails out of them, get them straightened, cut them to the right size and make a beautiful shelf that's gonna last forever. So what we've done basically is taken something from inside the house that wouldn't really be seen before yeah. and now we've made it kind of a focal point and a feature of that kitchen to where when they set things on that shelf, they're physically touching the 100 plus year old history of this house. Yeah, I love that. We've got the shelf in now, it looks amazing. It's on these super heavy duty brass brackets. These were a gem of a find. When I found these, I was like, I want to use them on everything that well, I do. Yeah, not only is the style spot on, but they are really like, heavy duty. The guy that installed them said, like we could these hang are on the them. nicest brackets I've ever installed. Yeah, they're awesome. Huh? Garrett likes CrossFit, so here's, <laughs> here's another station, I guess. <laughs> Can I just state for the record that I do not know how to dress in Hawaii? I'm super excited to start putting the room back together. We have all of these amazing, colorful things, a lot of plants, all of these are from Wayfair, and I'm excited to start putting them back in the space because that's when it really starts to come back alive. So I've got these amazing fake plants. They look totally real, but these are things that can live and not die when Garrett and Jess are off traveling the world. They don't have to worry about getting things watered. I've got these canisters. These are just super colorful and bright and that's really what we're trying to add back into the kitchen is that like color and excitement, bringing all, like the Brazil inspiration back in. This reminds me of the market that they visited. And then of course we're doing like all the stuff that they need to cook, to entertain. Garrett and Jess both said that they're super pumped to have friends over. I hope they invite us over and like just have nice big parties. And all of this kind of coming together with the bright bowls, everything just super bright, fresh, again, calling back to that Brazil inspiration. So I'm excited to get these on the shelf and get this kitchen finished. Okay guys, we've got the lights all set up on the Vivint Smart Home app. So Garrett and Jess can actually turn on and off the lights whenever they're 3,000 miles away or if they're home, it's super cool. You just go like this, turn them on, or you can dim them. Nice. They're gonna love this. Andy, Candice, we hope you're enjoying Hawaii because we're really enjoying our time here in Brazil. And we will see you in what, like six weeks now? Six weeks. We are coming home. But good luck with my kitchen because <laughs> that's my space. Kitchen is my space. <laughs> Guys, we're so excited. 
We're finished. The kitchen is beautiful. It's everything I hoped it would be. I can't wait for the G's to come home to this kitchen. I mean, it is everything they wanted. It's clean, it's fresh, it's bright, but it's still so classic and timeless and fits the home so well. Don't you think it's crazy? They don't see this kitchen until they come back for the finale. So you guys are seeing this kitchen before they're seeing it, and that is exciting. We really started this kitchen as like scratch. Like we had to rebuild so many things, make it so much more structural. Yeah. And then have everything custom made to come back in the kitchen. And we really started with an idea of making this kitchen really simple, yeah. really classic, really timeless, where before it had a lot of cabinets and things that the G's yeah. just don't need. So by repurposing and taking those cabinets out and putting them in a different house, we opened up a lot of space for that window that yep. was important to Jessica. Yes. And to have the kind of kitchen that they'll actually use. Yeah, they don't have a lot of stuff. What they want in their kitchen is things that they can cook with and entertain with, and that's about it. And I'm really glad that we were able to get that beautiful open shelf in there. It's simple. It's amazing that it was made from the old wood from the house. Like that's one of my favorite pieces in that room. And it really calls back to the history of this home and how strong and, and how resilient these old places are. And so just to see that piece as like a focal point in the kitchen is, I, I can't, I'm way excited. He's done. I'm done. And it's done. I can't even. You can't be done because those cabinets are just literally the most perfectly built, sturdy, strong, green cabinet. I was worried about the green at first. I think we were all worried about the green at first because yeah. it's so green. But once you put it against like the plaster walls and like little by little, the things that we add into the room start to kind of take the green down a notch. Okay, now it's getting closer. You put the brass hardware on and now it's like, oh yeah, this yeah. looks like totally normal. Like it's amazing. It's really neat to see that reproduction brass hardware on the poles yeah. on the cabinets and how well it ties into the shelf brackets and the sconce lights yeah. and just all the brass hardware. So classic, so timeless. Just yeah. a really, really bright, fresh kitchen. And then you guys know the elephant that's not in the room, the fridge. The fridge didn't make it on time. It's literally as we speak in the middle of the ocean on a boat. For some reason, I picture pirates on the ocean with this fridge. I also picture pirates on the ocean, like I hope pirates don't it. have it, protecting it, yeah. okay. Yeah. We went with marble countertops because that's a very historic finish. Anything we can do to make this kitchen feel like it might have been somewhat original, we're doing. So we've got the furniture style cabinets, the marble countertops, the farmhouse sink. Yes. I almost forgot about the farmhouse sink. Yeah. And, and farmhouse sinks are kind of, I would say trendy right now, but they're Well, they've been around forever. They, like, they've I've, always looked good. They'll always look good. And yeah. that's what we love about old new kitchens. Yeah. We filled this room with more plants than I think I've ever even thought about putting in a kitchen because that's like fresh in Brazil because to me. Because Hawaii and because Brazil. Yeah, and hopefully they don't all die. I got like half <laughs> fake plants, half real plants, and I think it'll look good. And the art kind of like sets off the plants and I'm hoping that it's everything Jess wanted. I, I think it's a great balance and it, what says fresh more than plants? It really is one of our favorite yeah. kitchens from the plaster walls, the reproduction hardware, that open shelf. Yeah, the cabinets, the countertops, that beautiful faucet. It's so special for us to be working on this house for the G's because they really have been traveling the world for so long. And that sounds luxurious and glamorous, but the reality of it is like every night is in a different place. And I just, I feel really honored and I'll start to cry, but I feel really honored that they trusted us with their home. Yeah. And that we get to work on that really special place, especially the kitchen first, the heart of the home. So to be able to have a kitchen that's theirs with the view of the ocean, the beautiful colors to remind them of their world travels. All of the plants, everything yeah. feeling so full and green and fresh. It's going to be exciting. Yeah. We hope you love it, guys. We're so pumped to share this with you. We'll see you later. We'll see you next time in Morocco. What section of the house is Morocco going to inspire? Our master bedroom and master bathroom. Absolutely. So we will see you next week. Bye. I hope that was okay. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. Next week, the family's off to Morocco yep. to get inspiration for their new master bedroom. So we also need your help voting, so make sure that you're following Home Love Network across all your social channels. We're gonna open the vote up tomorrow to decide what they're gonna experience in Morocco, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a thing. And a very special thanks to Vivint Smart Home for making this whole show possible. If you have ever thought about getting a smart home or a safe home, 
Get a free quote, find out how affordable it really is. You won't regret it. We're and so grateful. If you haven't thought about it, you're probably thinking about it now. Yeah. So thank you guys. That. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you.